I will try to do the impossible and explain everything you need to know about Czech visas in just five minutes. So let's go. Uh, generally, you can divide or we can divide the types of Czech visa based on the duration or how long you plan on staying in the Czech Republic. Based on that, you can divide the visas into these categories. Short-term visa, that's meant for stays for up to 90 days. If you want to stay longer for up to one year, longer than 90 days and up to one year, then you can apply for a long-term visa. If you want to stay more than one year and up to two years, you can apply for a long-term residence permit. And if you've been staying here for longer than some amount of time, either two, five or 10 years, you can apply for a permanent residence permit. So let's go now deeper into each of those. So short-term visas, the maximum validity is 90 days. You always need to have some official purpose of stay, but there are plenty of different purposes for the short-term visa from uh, medical treatment to sports, to employment, to visiting your family or just tourism. There are plenty of those. Uh, short-term visas, uh, you can apply for those at the Czech embassy or, or at one of the VFS uh, centers. Uh, Short-term visas uh, are decided by Ministry of Foreign Affairs or the agenda of short-term visas fall under Ministry of Foreign Affairs, which basically means the embassies can make the decision themselves. So that's why getting a result of the short-term visa is pretty swift, uh, usually around one or two weeks in general. If you want to apply for a longer type of visa or for the long-term visa, if you want to stay longer in the Czech Republic, then you apply for a long-term visa. You can only apply for a long-term visa through a Czech embassy outside of the Czech Republic. So you cannot do it the way that you come to the Czech Republic under a short-term visa and then you apply for a long-term visa uh, in the Czech Republic. It's not possible. You always need to apply at a Czech embassy. You also need to have a specific purpose of stay, but the, the range of possible purposes is way smaller than for the short-term visa. Basically, for the long-term visa, you can only choose from employment, business, studies, uh, family reunification, culture, and so-called other purpose of stay. If you don't fall under any other category, you can just apply for other purpose of stay. Uh, as mentioned, the maximum validity is one year, but it can be shortened based on the documents you submit. And the, the authority responsible for making the decisions is not the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, but the Ministry of the Interior. That's why, that's why it takes so long to get the decision. I've done another video about like the official approval times for different long-term visa types, but just to give you an idea, these short-term visas can be decided in one or two weeks. These usually 60 to 90 days, sometimes even longer, uh, up to two, uh, 120 days or even 270 days in some cases. If you want to stay longer than the first year, you can go from the long-term visa to a long-term residence permit under the same purpose of stay. So if you get a long-term visa as a student, you can get a long-term residence permit as a student. If you get a long-term visa uh, for the purpose of stay business, then you can get a long-term residence permit for business. Changing the purpose of stay in this stage is very, uh, it, ha it has some rules. So you should always kind of stick to the same purpose of stay as the long-term visa had. In some cases, for example, employment or studies, you can apply for a long-term residence permit directly through the embassy. So you don't have to go through this step first but you can skip it and you can directly apply for a long-term residence permit. But it's only possible in some cases, as mentioned, for example, employment or studies. One thing I didn't mention uh, and what is, what is important is that both short-term visa and long-term visa are just visa sticker in your passport. So it's just a sticker the, the embassy puts into your passport and that's it. The long-term residence permit is already like a separate plastic biometric card with your fingerprints and photos and everything in the card. 
Another thing is that the long-term residence permit is renewable. So if you get it for two years, you can extend it for another two years and extend it for another two years. And you can basically do it forever uh, unless you decide to apply for the permanent residency. I'll get there in a second. The long-term visa, if you get it for a full year, it cannot be extended. If you get it for, let's say, half a year, you can extend it. But the maximum validity always in total is one year. If you've been staying in the Czech Republic long enough, and long enough depends, and again, I did another video about the qualifications, let's say, for the permanent residency, so I'll share it somewhere here. So if you're interested in the permanent residency, check the video out. But generally, you can apply for permanent residency after five years of living in the Czech Republic. In some cases, it can be faster, even after two years. But in some cases, for example, under a student residence permit, you can only do it after 10 years of living in the Czech Republic. In some cases, you can also apply for the permanent residency directly through the embassy without like going through these steps first. Uh, but that only applies to, let's say, kids, minors. If you're a parent and if you already have a permanent residence permit in the Czech Republic and you want to bring your child then the child can directly apply for the permanent residency. They don't have to go through these steps. But those cases are pretty rare, so it's nothing you could, you could like normally see in life. Uh, if you have any questions, guys, comment, let me know. I'll be happy to answer everything, or I will be happy to shoot another video about some specific topic. Thank you very much, guys, and see you next time.